In this video, I'll show you how to add a location picker at the checkout for your WooCommerce store in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so throughout this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a location picker on your WooCommerce checkout page, just like this. So the customers can pinpoint their exact location. So it's perfect for if you run a food delivery business, or even if you're dropping off certain items or need to pick up certain items from your customers, it makes sense to allow them to be able to pinpoint their specific location. Okay. And it just speeds up the checkout experience for your customers as well. So we can click detect location and it will detect our location and we can drag and drop to our specific location okay and this particular video will be based on this article here on the aovup.com blog so if you want to follow along to the written steps you can head over to the aovup.com blog i'll leave a link in the description below and with that being said let's head over to our dashboard and let's get started to achieve this, we'll be using a location picker at checkout plugin. So to install that plugin, we just need to navigate to plugins, add new. Then we just need to search for location picker. Okay. Again, okay, we'll be using this particular plugin here. So let's just click install. Then we'll go ahead and activate this plugin. Although this plugin is free, it does use Google Cloud Platform Services, specifically the Google Maps JavaScript API. Okay. However, at the time of recording this, Google does provide a $200 credit so you can test it out. And then if it makes sense for your business, you can just pay the ongoing rate. Okay. So here it's prompting us to enter in our API key here, but first we need to actually register for Google Maps and then get our API key. So to get your API key, we've actually documented the steps on our blog here. So if we head over to our blog post here, if we scroll down, it walks you through the individual steps to creating a new project project on the Google Cloud platform, okay, as well as getting your API key. You can follow the steps here. So I'll leave a link in the description below or just head over to aovup.com slash blog and then just go ahead and search for location picker. Okay, so we're just going to sign up for Google Cloud. Let's go ahead and agree to their terms and condition. And we'll create a project. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it as the default for now. Okay, now I'm just going to navigate to API key and services. Okay, and here we've got that offer where we can try it for 90 days and it'll give us $200 credit. Okay, so let's agree to their terms and then we'll start the free trial. Just enter in our information. Okay, so we've got our Google Maps API key. So I've just copied this to our dashboard. So let's head back over to our WordPress site and then we can enter in our API key. Then we can configure the map behavior. We can set the region. Again, this says it's optional. So you can read through the individual settings and select the ones that you need. Okay. I'm just going to leave the default option for now. Okay. Now we'll just hit save changes. Okay. And now when a customer places an order, they'll be able to specify their location using a Google map locator option. So let's go ahead and test this out. And here we're displaying a checkout offer, which is powered by the all in one at checkout plugin. So I'll leave a link in the description below um, to show you how you can actually create such a checkup offer as well. Okay. So currently it's not loading for me. And here we've got a notification informing us that if we're the admin, we should check the console. And to check Google console, we just right click and navigate to inspect to view any errors. Okay. And then we can read through the errors here. Okay. Here it's prompting us that we need to actually enable billing on our Google cloud projects. And it's got a link here for us to enable it. Okay. So I've clicked this link and it takes me over to this page here. And then in this right hand corner, I just needed to activate my billing. Okay. So I've activated that. So that's one box checks. Let's go ahead and refresh the checkout page and see if that resolves it. I can see there's a few more errors, but let's just double check and see. Okay, so we've still got a few more errors here. It's still showing this billing thing. So it could be cash. It could be due to my caching. So let's try clearing this. Okay, let's actually try in a different browser and see. Okay, so let's just click inspect element again. Let's navigate to console. Okay, and it's saying there's multiple um, Google Maps JavaScript API on this particular page. So 
I'm going to disable another plugin which uses the Google Map API and let's see if that resolves the issue. Okay, so we finally debugged the issue. So there's two issues on my part. One, I didn't activate the free trial um, on the Google Cloud platform. And two, I had another plugin that was using Google Auto Address Complete. So the two API keys was conflicting. That's why it wasn't working for us, okay? But now it seems to be working fine. So if we click Detect Location, here it's detected our location perfectly, okay? And if we scroll down here, it's actually filled this in. And we can use the marker as well to drag and drop the location picker to our current location. Okay, and that's a quick and simple way to not only add a location picker on your WooCommerce checkout, but also to debug it in the event that you run into any issue like we did. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.